Welcome everybody, this is James with Option View, and I just want to do a quick uh, little getting started here, about 15 minutes long, um, uh, about Option View 8. <clears throat> Some differences here from Option View 7, it's got a, a more modern look, a little ribbon style, um, a kind of uh, uh, features uh, with the uh, buttons at the top here and, and whatnot, so a little um, different. Uh, I think it's going to be easier for new people, but just wanted to kind of uh, do something new here so that uh, people that are transitioning from uh, Option View 7 to Option View 8 uh, can see uh, some of the new uh, locations for uh, uh, things that were kind of in drop downs before. So, uh, biggest change up here you'll see in the upper left hand corner you have File, Home, Tools, Data, Settings, and Help. Um, under file okay this is where you're going to be able to print reports set up uh, uh, your printer and whatnot um, this is also where you're going to come to import and export things okay asset files um, not really probably going to be using a uh, file that much uh, if we click on the home tab okay this is where you're going to be most of the time um, this is where you're going to be able to open up your matrix which is your options chain see price and volatility charts info button is where you're going to set up accounts um, you can actually have an unlimited number of accounts in option view okay uh, this is where you would go to set up a new account if you're on a trial uh, you are set up with a default account uh, when you first get option view uh, you will be able to set up as many accounts I have accounts for the different brokerage accounts I have as well as accounts for different back tests that I've done okay uh, this is where you'd be able to come and set up uh, commissions if you're doing futures or securities okay uh, that uh, the other thing here is for open positions if you want to have your previously realized gain losses included um, when you're analyzing trades this would be if you're running a campaign style uh, trade strategy uh, for instance you have a rolling uh, maybe broker link butterfly or something like that um, this is something that uh, a lot of the brokers don't offer so this is kind of a nice feature and that's where you would check this off also, option view uh, can include slippage and commissions in your uh, open position valuations. Okay, so I'll OK to that. Uh, your trade log, this is where you're going to be able to see all of the transactions that you've done. Okay, um, if you ever uh, have a trade that you want to start over or get rid of, all you would do is delete the date, and it's like that never happened. Okay, what I'll often do is I'll often create a trade um, in option view for um, my analysis, decide if I want to put it on. Um, I'll then go over to brokerage account and put the same trade on, uh, try to get the best price I can. I'll then, uh, once I get filled over there, I'll come back into this transaction log um, after I've converted the trade in the matrix uh, in option view, and I'll change the actual price I got filled at and the actual commissions. Okay, this is actually uh, just a test account I'm using right here. Um, so all of these things are just uh, example I've, uh, examples I've done for, for people uh, when I do walkthroughs and things like that. So, um, But if I wanted to get rid of this trade, I would simply highlight the date here and delete all of these trades. This was obviously looks like a uh, um, hmm, maybe a uh, condor or something like that. Um, so I'll hit uh, OK out of here. And that is the trade log or transaction log okay status this button what this would do is it would show you your current portfolio where all of your positions are right now okay um, because I this is a demo account and I haven't really built it up or anything like that if you had a, a you know an account uh, cash balance in here um, you would actually see a bunch of all this information filled in here okay and this is nice because if you have a whole portfolio loaded into option you're gonna be able to see your portfolio de Delta uh, based on a beta delta base okay that best represents your entire portfolio holdings and then also your portfolio theta okay um, the report section this is going to be nice for when you have uh, a number of different trades that you've done you can look at your realized unrealized trades uh, and then combined and if you've done a nice back test you'll be able to create some nice performance graphs and performance analysis um, you know as you have uh, completed your back test or you know you can actually import your whole portfolio your whole uh, transaction history um, you know through either thinkorswim or whatever brokerage you're with because you know option view is very self-friendly so you can really you know uh, a lot of the brokerage houses will allow you to 
uh, download or export your transaction history with them over to Excel and then you could then move it into option view so that you could do uh, you know analysis of your whole portfolio and keep a building record in option view if you wanted to do so okay uh, that is the report section so these four buttons here really have to do with uh, recording trades uh, you know portfolio management um, creating uh, reports on how your trading has done and then you know of course creating you know as many accounts as you want there's no limit to the amount of accounts you can have an option view okay again still we're under home here then you also have our scanning tools here this is trade finder okay I'm not really gonna go into these here you can uh, find more videos in depth on these scanning tools but these are our scanning tools here Um, you'll also have um, an earnings planner. This has to do with um, our earnings uh, announcements module, which is an add-on. And then you also have a trade button here. Okay, Option View allows you to send trades to Tradier currently or Options Express. Okay, and you would set that up under the Info button, where you can see Configure Trade button. Okay. And then you have this button up here that is going to be up here all the time unless you decide you don't want to. And you can do that under uh, settings and preferences. But um, whenever you go into Backtrader, you will be in uh, that date and time. Okay, you can go back to January of 2001. And the entire option view system is going to think that it's that date and time when you're in Backtrader mode. Okay, uh, we'll click on the next uh, tab here, which is Tools. Okay. And this is where you can view this, the reports that you've run on uh, the scanning, OpScan, uh, our uh, a tool. This is also an add-on module. Okay, this is a, a Yates break search. Um, you can find more information uh, on that. Um, but it's just a different uh, kind of a strategy that uh, Len came up with and put into Option View. Okay, this has to do with our earnings module. Okay, but this is not an add-on, and what this does is you can actually use this to see what announcements are coming up okay and you can see here you can go five days out you can actually pick the date that you want to go to and have a, a search for that, that amount of time out and it tells you when that announcement is going to come out what the dollar value of options traded on average is okay and this is in terms of thousands okay what the underlying price is currently when that is happening Okay, these blank areas here you'll see are zero. You can tell that these don't trade options. Okay, and then you can look at some, you can actually uh, dive in and, and uh, tighten up the parameters if you want to with this section down here. Okay, um, we went back to home, but we're going to go back to tools here. Okay, you would use this to expire options if you wanted to expire them, uh, you know, before the uh, actual expiration date. If you knew they were going to expire, um, you can set up a lot of alerts. You can set up alerts based on delta of a current position. The alerts would be emailed to you. Um, if you had option view open, a uh, uh, noise uh, would uh, would chime if you wanted to. So this is kind of nice um, if you have, uh, you know, uh, a goal for a particular gain or particular loss you could have alerts set up for that um, so it's real nice to be able to set up those alerts and you know get notifications if you're away from your computer okay uh, scheduling events uh, you can have uh, you know a time set to backup files and things like that that's what that would be okay um, you know assess accounts um, this is gonna kind of run a, an update on you know what accounts you could say hey go ahead and uh, gather data fresh data so that I can uh, see where all of my uh, accounts are currently at um, you can set that up automatically okay I'm going to go back to tools here and then you can also we have a probability calculator which is really nice okay and the event log is just going to kind of something that runs in the background lets you know what's happening uh, if there's any errors that come up or anything like that this is where you can go and see what's happening you know when you connected to uh, our data I think or swim data or interactive brokers data okay uh, I'm gonna click on this data tab now okay com settings this is where you're gonna go to log into option view for the first time um, a live data this is gonna show you where your data feeds are coming from okay um, back trader you've already got the back trader window open here but if you decided not to have this up here all the time this is where you would go to grab it 
and it would then show up here. Okay, uh, another way to back up files. Okay, and that's basically what this is: is updating uh, files and things like that. Um, if we go to settings here, okay, this is where we're going to be able to set up a number of preferences. Um, what kind of strikes you want to see in the matrix? What kind of modeling you want to use in option view? Okay, got a holiday calendar where interest rates are being uh, uh, calculated at in option view right now. Okay, and then resetting definitions would bring everything back to the default settings that you are initially set up with an option view. Okay, help is where you're going to go to to get uh, get to our online help center. You can this is basically our option view user manual online release notes. It tell you it tells you everything that's come up uh, in the different versions of option view. Okay, if there's an upgrade out there available, you're usually prompted if you first open up option view, but you can always check for an upgrade. Uh, we've got a link to tutorial videos here. This is where you'd go to actually download uh, the latest version of Option View. Uh, it's also where you can go to change your ID and password if you wanted to. Okay. Educational resources takes you to um, some things we have set up on education, mentoring, things like that. Uh, tech support, you can set a, send a ticket in if you're having a problem. Okay. This is remote support. When I do walkthroughs with people, I usually have them come here and say, let's do a remote support. Uh, then I can look over your shoulder and uh, kind of guide you through the program. Happy to do that anytime with anybody uh, that has a trial or has a current option view subscriber. Okay. Um, Com Diagnostics. This is for, you know, the tech guys to come in and see what's going on. Um, same uh, kind of thing here is uh, these are things that the tech guys are going to use. They would ask you to send some files if you're having a problem. Um, and then uh, just some more information uh, about uh, option view and what um, kind of, uh, you know, things you would need for um, that you're subscribed to currently, what version you're on. Okay, things like that. So um, that is a quick run through all of the buttons. Okay. Those are some of, uh, that's the main changes. We used to have just, uh, you know, in Option View 7, it was just, uh, you know, a couple more lines here, and then you'd have to click on it, and there'd be drop down. So now it's much more visibly, you know, uh, uh, kind of able to nav navigate around a little quicker, I think, and get more familiar with uh, uh, the different, uh, different modules in Option View, as well as the different... Uh, uh, things you can look at and get to quickly and a little easier over here you're gonna see we've got a print button here okay there's also one over here so if you ever want to print out a quotes display or a risk graph um, you can uh, do that with those print buttons when you first get option view it is preloaded with a number of uh, uh, symbols and uh, indexes uh, ETFs uh, some futures as well uh, the VXX trading tools would be there as well. Um, you can also set up a number of tabs down here. Okay, you can do that by right clicking on uh, the tab that you have, and you can insert a tab here, and it basically gives you a whole new quotes display. So you can see I have one set up that I, this is what I keep it on during the day. This is if I want to look at futures. I have some ETF sectors set up, um, so you can do that. You know, however you want to. Um, all of these over here, these last five, are going to be our earnings module um, tabs okay and you can find out more about that under at optionview.com under the trading tab um, I have mine customized here you can actually right click on any column here and add anything you want uh, here okay this is also kind of new before you had to kind of scroll around now you can quickly see where they all are in option view 8 if you wanted to um, let me change it back to what it was these are all alphabetical orders so you can do that um, you can also come over here and you can hit the insert button on your keyboard and it'll give you a new row you can then type in your symbol and that would come in delete key gets rid of it clicking here is another place to search for a symbol look up a symbol and if you you know don't have insert and delete keys on your keyboard this way you can also insert rows and columns um, if you have a number of symbols on a watch list that you want to create, you can actually copy those from Excel and then paste them. And that would actually paste them wherever you're highlighted. Okay. Um, you can then, furthermore, dive in here. And now we're in an options chain. Okay. You can see up here we're in the E-mini S&P 500. Okay. And um, I have this color shading here. 
um, that is showing us, because because I have this S depressed, that is basically showing us the standard deviations. Okay, and this is where you can actually come in and define things uh, specifically for this underline if you wanted to. Okay, you can set up the format here, set up the model here. You can add strikes or add different expirations if you want to. Okay, um, this format button allows you to set up the whole format that you have here. I have market price, implied volatility, trade, existing position, and volume. I would enter my trade that I wanted to analyze here. Okay, if I wanted to put this trade on, I would convert it here and it would then go to my transaction log. Okay, but if I wanted to analyze it, I could analyze it here. Okay, now this is analyzing my position. Okay, currently I'm highlighted on expiration. I'm going to go ahead and click on today's date. And now you can see that I'm looking at this risk graph based on today's date. It's, it's September 7th today. And then it shows you all your Greeks down here in your P&L. Okay. So that was a pretty much, I just want to do a quick little video here uh, on this. Um, you know, you can, uh, one more thing I'll show you is a side-by-side -side analysis. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to restore down the matrix before you do side-by-side -side analysis. Okay. And um, what you're going to want to do is hit that little restore down button up here. I'm restoring it down so it's not taking up my whole option view screen. I'm going to resize it here and now I can do this side by side. Okay, and this is nice because you can then start adding different contracts if you wanted to just see what it's going to look like. Okay, so I got a strangle now. I changed that into a strangle. Okay, if I wanted to change it into a credit spread, I could do something like this. So this is how you can, you know, really quickly design a trade if you wanted to. Okay. I don't really want to do any of this, so I'm going to go ahead here and hit this pencil eraser and clear the trade. And now I don't have anything to analyze, so this screen would go blank. Okay. But that's how you would do the side by side. You got to make sure you restore this down. Okay. Um, I'm probably going to do another longer video on a complete walkthrough, but like I said, again, I wanted to just do something really quick on Option View 8 to get people up and running and started and see what the new uh, buttons and how to navigate around a little bit there are. But, um, Feel free to call anytime if you have questions or want to do a walkthrough, 847-816-6610. Uh, and again, uh, thanks for uh, checking out this uh, video. Hope, you, hope, hope it was helpful for you.